Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. 14 video projects coming out to you every single day, back to back to back to back, um, focusing on the spring catalogue and a little bit of celebration which we're talking about today. And this year I'm doing a giveaway inside every single video. Uh, there's a different giveaway every single day. Today, however, I am using a free stamp set and that is the focal point of this. And I've got nothing else in this that's spring, summer, even the ribbon is free as well. So instead, I don't want to give you something that I've got for free. So I'm going to let you choose. If you are the winner, you can choose a bundle of your choice from the spring summer catalogue. And there are loads to choose from. There's bundles galore. There's, let me find a bundle for you. Here's a bundle, here's a bundle. Um, there's a bundle. There's a bundle. There's loads of bundles, you get the point. Lots and lots of bundles. There's a bundle. So the bundle of your choice is what you can win today. And there are two ways to enter. You can enter for free by leaving a comment here on YouTube or over on my blog. Or you can place an order and you get five entries into the draw. And you can place an order from one of five countries. The UK, Germany, France, Austria or the Netherlands. Those five countries. I can't send product out to anybody else outside of those countries. So if you are a randomly drawn winner from a different country, I can't send you the product, but I can send you a handmade gift. And this is today's project. This is my epic box, because it says on the top, here's to an epic celebration. And I have used markers and chalk markers to decorate this. It's two and a half inch cube. And I did it with my older boys in mind. Um, not that any of my boys wear shoes that are, um, not my older ones, they don't wear shoes like this, they're more into sort of Nike and Adidas and all of that sort of stuff, but Jack does have scooter, he calls them scootering shoes, but I love the set because it's great for teenagers and when I was actually putting this box together, Jack, who's my 14 year old, he's almost 15 in the, at the end of April, he came in and he went, oh can you do the headphones? So I said, well how do you want me to do them? So he said, I need to do them on red with black. And he said, I stamped one out and he coloured it in and then signed it. So I'm going to kind of take inspiration from his. I wouldn't know how headphones ought to be decorated. But I'm going to show you how to make it. So mine is going, to, this one was garden green on pear pizzazz. But I'm doing the black and red as requested by Jack. So my box, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see my score lines. Ten and a half by eight inches. Which is 27 and a half by 21 centimetres. So on the long side. Score it at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten inches, which in metric is six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half, and twenty six. And then turn it round and score it at two and a half, five, and seven and a half inches, which in metric again is six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half. So I'm hoping, oh look, if I tip it like that you can see it. So, yeah, two and a half inch cube, uh, six and a half centimetres that is, so it's a great sized box. You could stuff that full of treats for a young man, couldn't you? Like my boys, all sorts in there. My uh, my children are six, well Oliver's seven in, in the middle of April, and then Jacob is nine, he's ten in September. Luke is 12, he'll be 13 in August, and then Jack is 14, and he will be 15 in April. No, can't possibly have a 15 year old. Okay, so the box is going to fold around like this. It, I didn't show you the opening and close. It does open and close in there. So that part is the top, and this is the bottom. So I'm going to cut at the, the top first, at the bottom. I think I'm cut at the top while she's at the bottom. Cut at the bottom, so get rid of that long, thin, skinny bit. And then cut straight up these. My boys do love treats. I mean, Jack is 15, or almost 15, but he still loves to get treats and surprises from me. I'm such a softie. Okay, so that is the back, all around there. And I want that to come through to the, to the front. So this one, that's furthest away from this edge here. We're going to keep all of that part, the whole lot. Okay, this one we're going to keep top bit as well. The one next to it, you need to wedge it very slightly, not too much, but a little bit. So basically cut out 
the groove from your score line and then trim off that bit. Don't need that. This one next to it, we're going to get rid of that completely. I will stop and show you after I've cut everything. And then this one here, we're going to do the same as then. So cut in very slightly. And just cut that part off. So if I bring it back round, so this is the bottom that I cut before, separated it all, and this is the top. So that's the bit that's going to come round and tuck inside, and those are going to fold in on themselves. I want to round the corner. I, I'm using my Jenny Punch. I call it my Jenny Punch, because Jenny sent it to me, because we don't have a punch anymore, but you could use your envelope punch board. But I like that one. Right, so this is ready to be built, but I do want to get my panels on here first, and I'm going to get them all stamped up. So I've got the real red, I've got them cut down at two and a quarter inches square, which is six centimetres square, and I have got my stamp set, Epic Celebrations. So it's free if you spend £45 or €60, Euros, and you get it for free, we all love the free. And Celebration is multiples of, so... If you spent £90 or €120, Euros, you could choose two free things, and so on and so on. Right, basic black. And I'm going to make, I'm going to do four stamped the same way. And I'm going to colour them all differently. And while I've got the stamp set out, I might as well stamp this one. So here's to an epic celebration, because it is obviously an epic box. I'm going to line it up on my grid paper to get it roughly straight. Semi straight. Right, so what do I need now? <clears throat> I need two markers. I need a real red and a basic black. And I need a chalk marker. I always store my chalk markers upside down. Right, so we're going to have one with nothing on it. And we can use Jack's inspiration here. So one has got nothing on it, and one is fully coloured. One is just darkened with the markers, and one is lightened just with the white. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm working to, to Jack's plan. I do like chalk markers on coloured cardstock. I love doing stuff with my boys. Like I say, he's 15, but all but 15 but he still loves to come and do stuff with me and he wanders in here and he when he does artwork he signs it can you see he's not doing tags or anything I think it's just, you know he's the wrong era for tags but he does like to do stuff so with the chalk marker you can go over it a few times to get the depth of colour that you want. So that's going to need a little bit more on it. I'm going to do a second one like this. Just checking the right bits that I've coloured. He has a set of headphones. He's got gaming headphones and they look like this. I guess that's why. He said to me, oh, you need to do red and black, Mum. a cat snoring in here as well. Fennel's in here, fast asleep. I have a desk, I have a, a bed on my desk over on the office side. This is my craft side where I'm sat right now. And I have an office side where my computer is and paperwork. And she's on there in her bed snoring. I hope you can't hear her. Right, so that one's that, that's done. So that's two done. I'm going to come over here a bit more. And like I said, you can build up the colour. It's quite nice to do this. It's quite rhythmic. Okay, right, so what did he do next? Okay, I'm looking at this. So he's darkened up certain bits. So it's red over red, which is a bit like tone on tone stamping. And I guess you will see it more in the next, in the one that I'm going to do without any chalk on it. So that's this one here, you'll see the difference.
I have to say that the design team who do these stamps, they do work very well to true to life kind of colouring, um, uh, imagery I should say. So you can see the difference in the, there's the dark on the dark, it's the same colouring as it is on the cardstock. That's that one done, so I now need to just bring in some black. Where else has he done that bit there? Oh, he would be proud of his mum. Well, that's not a bad job, is it? Not exactly the same as his, but it's close enough. So this one. Okay, and where else do I need to do this bit? And that bit. So they can all now come onto this box. Oh, I need to bring the white because on this one it felt like it needed a little bit of an edge, so. I just came in with my chalk marker just to do my own sort of sketchy line and I was kind of working to the theory that it doesn't need to be a perfect line because it's very much a sketchy kind of image. So I figured that was okay. So on here now I want to get the full coloured one on the front so that's going to be this one which hasn't got anything above it. I wonder if those maybe need white edges too. Shall we do that? Why not? Needs something, doesn't it? I do like the chalk markers. Also work very well when you're when you've done a black. If you've done a card on a uh, a card and it's got a black card blank, and you don't necessarily want to put a white insert if you've maybe gone for colours and stuff really good for writing on the inside of the card. See, look how I write on the inside of this one. See? Bravo! Brilliant chalk markers, we love them. Right, let's get these on then. I have to say, that is one of my favourite stamp sets from the Celebration catalogue. So that's the full one, so that goes there, and that one goes on the opposite side because that's got nothing on it, that's just stamped, and then these ones can go either side. That one there, so glue up the box, so a little panel of fuse there, and then as I said, this is the back, so that's going to fold around. So two sides in, and that one. Glue here. And then this should hopefully close perfectly. You might need to do a little trimming. But nope, closed up absolutely fine. I'm going to bring in some... I'm not going to bring the red ribbon, I think I might bring in the black just to get a little twist on it. Bit too long. I need some bit of scissors. I need to sort those ones out, those particular ones. That's better. So big blob of adhesive all over here. Stick that down. Bunch of dimensionals on because we want to keep the ribbon in place, don't want that moving anywhere. That is the front of the box. Oh, look, my ribbon's going the other way this time round. Into the top. Here's to an epic celebration. I love it. I love the look. Oh, so much fun. I think I prefer this one because the green is so obvious. Um, the red is less obvious on this one. I've lost the one that's just, there it is, red and black. But I do love the box. Anyway, 
Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye.